Hi everyone. Um, today I'm just going to spend some time going over a little bit of a review of what decimals is. This is something that we really didn't have a chance to cover too much in class, so um, I'm going to try to take it down to some simple terms here. So you're seeing my screen right now. Um, um, this is actually Math is Fun, so if you wanted to go on here later on, you certainly can, mathisfun.com, um, and look up decimals. Okay, so I just want you to understand what a little bit of a, what a decimal is or understand a little bit about that. So if we're looking here by my screen here, we see that what we have here is a whole number and then a decimal point and then we start our decimals. So a decimal number is basically a rewritten fraction. That's what it is. It's a fraction in a different way. That's all it is. Um, so when you look at a fraction, um, like for instance here, this 45 here, 45, we read this as 45 and 6 tenths. It's 45, that's 45 wholes, plus 6 tenths as a fraction. Well, we read 6 tenths because this is the tenths place. So 6 tenths and 6 tenths is the same thing. 45 wholes and 45 wholes here is the same thing. If you pull down, it tells you a little bit more about that here. I'm going to go further down here, okay? So we, when we see a decimal point here, right in the middle, we read the decimal point as an and. So you know how you know how like stubborn I get when we're talking place value, and I don't like when you say three hundred and twenty-seven. This is why, because in this case, the and is our decimal point. So when I look at this decimal, for instance, I would say three hundred twenty-seven and four tenths. So the and tells me that my place value is switching, that the value of my numbers is switching. So it goes from a whole number to a fraction or to a part, if you will, a part of a whole, okay? This number here means that I have 327 um, whole pieces of something and then four tenths of another piece. All right, so 327 and four tenths. So here we have our hundreds, our tens, our ones, and then our tenths, and that is a decimal number. So right here in the middle, okay, we can go further. This number here, this big, pure, large number here, it's red, 17 and 591 thousandths, all right, because it ends here in the thousandths place. We have 17 holes, and then we have another part of something that's a little bit less than a whole, all right? So let's say we had, um, I don't know, uh, like 17, let's go, it's 17 Hershey bars. And then we have a part of a Hershey bar, all right? Not yet another whole. So we have 17 holes and then 591 thousandths of one. So if one Hershey bar was actually cut into thousand pieces, we'd have 591 of those thousand pieces a part, all right? Um, all right, let's move down here. Um, same thing here. This is exactly what we're talking. 17 and 591. On the left of the decimal point is the whole number. That's 17. On the right are the the is the fraction or the decimal part here. Um, when we come down here, I mean, this is, you You can read these examples. This is exactly what it's talking about. On the left side, the two, that's the whole number part. I just said that. And on the three, that's the tenth, meaning three tenths or the fractional part. Same thing here. So if you go on mathisfun.com, you're going to get a lot of practice here. You can get a lot of fraction or, sorry, um, examples for you to look at if you're struggling on decimals. Um, this is kind of what we did. This power of tens, kind of what we did yesterday. So 23 tenths. Um, when we talk about, we talk about tenths and hundredths and thousands, you know, it's, it's, it's much easier to work with and find equivalent fractions because you're just multiplying or dividing really in a sense by 10. Um, okay, so my video is telling me it only has 20 seconds left, so I have to stop here. Um, really quickly look down here, this here, two and three tenths would look like two and three tenths. You don't actually have to put the and there. 13 and 76 hundredths would look like 13 and then you have 76 hundredths here. Okay. All right. Message me or anything if you need anything. And um, that's my little, you know, decimal video. Thank you.